So, I just finished Just for Fun by Tara Lynn Childs in the library labels covering up her first name. This is the third installment of her this series. Um, her first was Forgive My Fins, and then the second book is Fins Are Forever, and then this is the third book. Um, so if you haven't read the first two books, this review or whatever you want to call it is going to be a bit confusing. It's going to be a bit of a spoiler. So Lily has decided to stay Crown Princess Water Lily. And she is bonded with Talon, I think. Um, I think that's his name. And right now, she's sending out all these, in, at the beginning, she's sending out all these invitations to the kings and queens of the Atlantic to, for meeting, because Talon's home is like, is changing, the ecosystem is changing in the ocean, and thing, and coral is dying, and food sources, and people are sick and some people are asking to go to land because of this. Um, so this meeting happens and nothing, for some reason, not a lot of good comes out of it. And she's like really upset about that. Um, but everybody, all her human friends, our family is really there, there for her. They're supporting her and they're saying she can do it, especially her, um, the computer in, um, has to support her. And throughout the book, if you've read the other two books, um, Lily and Quince are, they start off being bonded in the first book. Then she severs the bond that they're still in love. So in the last book her father gave him some an aqua requita or something. It, it's pretty much a gift to swim underwater, breathe underwater. So and he is tested, they're tested, their love is tested for he has to take this test and if he fails Lily can't come back to land she lives on water and she can never see Quince again and Quince can never come back can never go back to the water so it's a little sad um but that's tested throughout the book and I want to give too much away, but we meet Doe again, and we meet Brody, and her aunt, and her father, and her dad. Um, we also meet a lot of kings and char different characters that one was mentioned in the last book, um, but then we meet a whole bunch more from all over the ocean, so it's interesting. It's a good book. It was a fast read. It it, it, it was a real quick read. Here. I got it on Saturday, and I finished it today. I was hoping I'd finish it yesterday, but that didn't happen. So I finished it today, and I think I'm gonna go back and like read my favorite parts. Just look for those in case I miss something because I read so quick. Um, but if you liked her other two books, her other two books of, of this character, Lily Sanderson, um, I think you'll like this book. This for Finn. I kind of, with how it ended, I'm guessing she, she might write another one. We'll see. They authors do that thing where um, you never know. It's like 
they might leave you hanging and you just have to guess. So that's about it. Bye.